Hello and welcome. I'm so excited because today we are going to take a look on how you can deploy your local project to Strapi Cloud, which is really, really amazing. And I'm excited to show you how to do this. So if you're thinking of trying Strapi Cloud because you're looking for an easy way to manage your deployment, this video is for you. So let's jump right into it. So what are the prerequisites for getting started? Number one, you should have a Strapi project locally, which should be version 4.7.0. If you are using a project that is running earlier version, you could easily upgrade it. And I'll make sure to link in the description below the process of doing it based on the version that you have. So here I am, I have my project, which is a basic blog, strappy project where I have some articles, authors, categories, and users. Next, you should have created a GitHub repo for your project because your branch hosted in your repository is what we're going to deploy. I have my project's repo living on GitHub. So let's take the next step. Going to cloud.strapi.io login, you will use your login GitHub credentials to sign in. Once you are signed in, you're going to be greeted by your dashboard. I made a video walking through all the different menu options in your dashboard that you could check out in the card that I'm gonna to link to somewhere on the screen. But we're going to jump right into it and click create our first project. Now, when you're watching this video, you might have additional options available here, including our pro and team subscription, but you will also have an ability to try a free trial. And that's what I'm gonna do here today. Once you click next, you could take a look at the terms of service, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the free trial. Here, you're going to have to select the branch which you want to deploy to the cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and look for my project cloud blog demo site and click enter when you selected the correct repository. Once here, go ahead and click next. Make sure that everything is correct. You could also click show advanced settings if you wanted to change the base directory or add additional variables. At the moment, we're not going to change anything because I'm okay with the default settings which will automatically inject all your environmental variables into your application. That will take a look after our app is deployed. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. On this screen, you will need to have your basic information and your billing account. If you haven't added your credit card yet, you will be prompted here. During your free trial, you're not going to get charged. I'm going to click create. Your deployment process will start and you will be able to see the build logs here. So let's let this run and we'll come back to this in just a moment. And our application was deployed successfully. You could check out the logs for any error messages that you could see. You also have access to your deployed logs as well, which will show you your application version and so on. In this video, I am using 4.6.2, but once Strapi Cloud is released, the minimum version will be 4.7.0. And that's because that includes our DEETS feature that allows you to transfer data from your local application to your deployed application, which we will cover in our later videos. And you also have access to your runtime logs, which is pretty awesome. So you could check out your build by going to your deploys and clicking visit your application. Let's navigate to the admin. Because this is our newly deployed application, we have to create our first admin user. Let's go ahead and do that now. Make sure you enter a very secure password. If you like to keep updated with improvements, you could check the check mark and click let's start. You might be prompted for a quick survey, so go ahead and enter your information here. Just so we could see things better, let me go ahead and change into light mode. So go into our content manager, we will see all of our content types, but if you notice, we don't have any articles. Even though when we look at our local version of our app, if we take a look at our content, we do have articles, we do have authors information and categories and so on. And this is something we're going to cover in the next video of how to use our transfer deeds feature to be able to move your local data to your deployed application. 
To finish up this video, if you do run into the issue of deploying your application due to Strapi Cloud, or you have an error that you're not quite sure how to solve, you could use this help icon to see if your solution is available by searching for help first. If you can't find your answer, you can go ahead and open your support ticket. Please add an appropriate subject, select the type of the help that you're looking for, a description as detailed as possible for the error that you're running into. And you could also go ahead and take a screenshot of your error. You could either upload images yourself or you could click, let's say an entire screen, click share, and it's gonna take a screenshot of your error that could help us help you debug even and faster or you could click and select from any one of your files that you have available click i'm not a robot and click submit ticket to file your bug report with this being said i hope this video was really helpful in giving you this introduction of how to go ahead and deploy your local strappy project to the cloud it really does take away the hassle of managing deploying your application yourself. If you have any questions, you could always join us on Discord. I'll make sure to put the link in the description or check out our forum. With that being said, I will see you in the next video where we're going to talk about how to use our Deeds transfer protocol to be able to migrate your local data to your cloud instance of Strapi. With that being said, have a wonderful rest of the day and we will see you in the next video.